The Hospitality House Food Pantry is a drive-up service open from 12 to 4, 7 days a week. Just pull up and a staff member will come out to get some information and you can be on your way with a dry food box, meat, and produce. Here are the people that make the food pantry run smoothly and get groceries out to the community. My name is Keith Nelson. I'm the food service coordinator here at the Hospitality House, which includes the kitchen as well as the bodega slash pantry. Right now I'm going to talk to you about where we get our food and what, um, what are the sources. As you can see, we've got a ton of food right here, and our primary um, source is where this came from. It's the Second Harvest Food Bank out of Winston-Salem. They are a Feeding America uh, partner, a federal food source, and then we are a partner with them, and so we get thousands of pounds of food from them once a week. Um, so in a month's time, we will get about 30,000 pounds of food to distribute to the community. Probably 50% of that comes from Second Harvest, like I just mentioned, but the other half comes from a variety of sources. Primary source being our local grocery stores. Uh, Second Harvest has created partnerships with us with individual grocery stores in our community, and on specific days we drive there, pick up the food, sort it, and then distribute it back out to the community. A lot of this is uh, a close dated product, uh, ugly fruit, you know, produce that doesn't look that great, and then um, we go ahead and box it up and take it out. We also get food from individuals, uh, anything from canned foods and food drives to lefter, leftover meals from a wedding. Now most of those we don't put through our pantry, we go ahead and serve those to the residents who live here, but it's all welcome. The other source that we do is we have a program um, with the St. Andrews, Society of St. Andrews, that every weekend at the farmer's market, we, the farmers donate their leftover produce or some of their leftover produce, which we split up amongst the food pantries here in Watauga County. We take part of that, as well as um, a program called Farmer Food Share, in which um, guests, participants, clients, shoppers there at the farmers market donate money to us and then we go to the local farmers and purchase food from them. We earn probably around $300 each weekend that we go there and we purchase meat, produce, anything that looks great so that we can augment our donated food and make something really special when we cook. Well, I am making produce bags for the Hospitality House Food Pantry and what we try and do is we take the produce that we have and we put enough produce in each bag to make at least like three side dishes along with the rest of the food that we bring to each car. And so um, I try and like give everyone a good mixture of vegetables and fruit. And so this is like a head of lettuce that I'm putting in. Um, we have this nice slice of watermelon that I'll add to it too. Um, and then some mushrooms here. So, that's the produce bag. I'm Clara, I'm the uh, garden and volunteer coordinator here at Hospitality House. And I'm gonna show you how we make a dry food box. Dry boxes means that um, they don't need to be refrigerated, so we can make a bunch of them at one time and um, store them until a client comes to pick them up. So I'll show you kind of what goes into one of those. Um, so we get a lot of our food from Second Harvest Pantry. They send us, um, a lot of our canned and dry goods. So we make sure to put one of each kind of um, item from them into each box. So as I make this box, I'm gonna put one of each canned good in. Some pasta, rice, we've got soup, black beans, um, this is some non-refrigerated milk, which is great. Um, some peas, <laughs> jelly, applesauce, and fruit cocktail. So it's a really nice variety of cans. What else? We've got baking mix, just like a flour. Um, I feel like that's all the tea cups. Oh, dry beans. So things that can last in your pantry for a while. Um, and then sometimes we get uh, private donors will give us coffee, which is always a treat. 
so I'll put some coffee into this box. Um, so that's most of the cans, and then we do two breads and two sweets when we have them. Um, our breads come from various places, um, but most of our sweets and breads come from local grocery stores that donate to us, like Food Lion and Harris Teeter. So we're so thankful for those things. Um, we also get this delicious sandwich bread from a local bakery, Stick Boy Bakery. Um, so I try to do one sandwich bread and then like one dinner bread in the box. And then I'll do two kind of sweet things. So these are donations from Food Lion, I believe. We've got some donuts. and some cookies. And then I bring the box in here for the last bit of stuff. Add it to our stack. We do a bag of onions, which also come from, I mean, a bag of apples, which also come from Second Harvest. And a bag of onions. And when we have the potatoes, um, Anything that doesn't need to be refrigerated can go in a dry box. So you can see that's pretty much full. Um, it's a nice variety of things. And then I'll put a lid on it. <laughs> and it's ready to go. So this, along with a bag of produce, a bag of dairy, and a bag of meat, will make a well-rounded, uh, about a week's worth of food for us. Yes, we appreciate everything that y'all are doing, and it's been a great, great service for us, <laughs> senior citizens, and so we uh, we do we really do appreciate what you're doing.